Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I'm going to do a tutorial of the um, Airbrush Chrome that I did a while back. And I have prepared my uh, panel by uh, a scotch brett pad and I have uh, just slightly sanded it. And here I'm coming in with a light blue. I'm use, just using a card to make sure I block off some areas that makes this kind of stand out and uh, you know I have taken this into a plotter and um, did an outline of it of the lettering and then cut it out on my plotter and this is just a low tech stencil um, vinyl like stuff but you could you you could even airbrush on vinyl if you wanted to. I may do a tutorial on that sometime to show you how you can airbrush the vinyl lettering even to make it look like chrome to apply to a vehicle. This would be like you were airbrushing it right onto the vehicle. This uh, technique really looks cool on black or a darker color, but um, I didn't have a a panel that was a dark color so you're getting it on white and I did make a boo-boo in this um, and I will tell you as I get closer to it it's better when you do your black line across because usually when uh, the light is reflecting off of chrome there'll be a dark line that kind of goes across the, the area and you want to keep that straight and I kind of curved on it and it kind of doesn't look right but it can be you know fixed but um, I put in a little bit of yellow and then a little bit of, of orange over top of that just to give it a pop color there's you don't have to do that of course because you do have to be careful not to go into the blue or it turns out looking green. But I just think it makes the piece look a little bit more interesting and that's why I did it, you know. And you never know on Chrome what it's standing up next to and whatever Chrome is standing up next to, it's going to reflect that color a little bit. So um, may, let's just say it's a sunset outside and it's reflecting the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but um and I'm coming in with a darker blue and I think I went carry I think I got the blue a little bit too dark cuz it's um it's a little bit darker than my other other one um other one I did of a tutorial of this and I am using just my neo on this um you know there's uh, no reason to be real precise, so I'm just using a regular old, you know, hobby airbrush. And one thing I like about the Neos is uh, they have that little cup, which um, I think might be interchangeable with the Takumi. I'm going to try it anyway and see if it works. It'd be great if it does, because my Takumi, I just don't like the big pot now if i was going to be spraying a large area it'd be great but um they needed to i th i you know for five hundred dollars i would think that they would give you a smaller cup with it i do like the takumi i have the um the uh soft spring uh, trigger it's not the original trigger original trigger is kind of a, a square um, but it stands up a little higher the softer trigger sets a little lower so you just barely have to wiggle your finger to get paint coming out and it's so comfortable um, and it uh it works for me but I'm not a fan of the side feed um, I do like my Creo 771 because it's a cup on top but then again um, I wish they had a smaller cup maybe a screw on on the top of the Creos and a smaller 
cup size with it that'd be awesome then that would be my number one go-to airbrush for detail um, it still is one of my number it's that in the Takumi and my other airbrushes I just use uh, for you know quick quick things I think it depends on where I'm at too I use what I have here I'm just making sure I'm spraying these um, points. Uh, you'll see where I'm spraying the points out of each letter. And that kind of gives you that square looking to where it will pop out, stand out. And shadows and things go here and there. But I got a little bit carried away with this blue. It, there's no need for it to be this bold. Um, if you see the other demo, you will um, see that, how I did it. Um, really, the one thing that makes this stand out is when you go back in and you scratch, you erase your highlights. <laughs> And I will be coming in with a darker, a real dark um, blue-violet, and then from there, black. And I think I skipped that blue-violet on the other one, and that was the difference. Um, now, this looks black, but it's just a, a dark blue-violet. And I'm just hitting those areas. And... Um, when you come in with your black, you want to be very, very thin line, almost hairline, and, uh, on your curves when you're, you're doing your highlighting, because it just makes it really pop out. And again, it looks like I'm using a lot of black. And uh, of course, this isn't black, even though it looks it. Just like the last one, you know, you, you, you think that, oh my God, what are you doing? You're running your piece, but um, looks can be deceiving sometimes. We all know that. And I've got a few little spray out areas there where it spurted on spurted on me because I think I have my paint way too thin but um, I have my pressure down like 15 so and I've got this laying flat too so it probably um, I actually got my camera or my phone I should say this is laying flat on my table and I'm airbrushing down on it so it's going to look a little different too with the the light hitting it there's kind of a shadow now see if i didn't have that yellowish orange color in there to me it would not look that interesting um but i just think it makes it uh you know pop out I'm probably changing my color and getting some black here, and I'm going to come back in um, with some black and just make it stand out. And I'm making sure I hit those corners because, and, and you're going, oh my gosh, why are you using so much black? Well, that's because I'm going to come in <laughs> and erase some highlights, that's why see how it's getting more precise with the black there and that's what you want you want the little thin lines across the lettering and on the corners and there's no right or wrong for chrome because um, you know there may be a tree standing and the trees casting the limb shadow out on the chrome so you're seeing little lines and things here and there there's no right or wrong um i did do a wrong on this though so i will show you what it is when i do and then i'm picking off 
um, the outline. I, now you can do a real thin outline, which is better, I think, when you do a thinner outline. This one was just already done and it was thicker, so I just used it. Now here I'm scratching out those bright highlights where the light's gonna hit it here and there. And I'm just using a dowel for this. It's just a wooden, sharpened wooden pencil-like thing. You can use the end of a paintbrush if you don't have one and sharpen it in the sharpener. I'm just doing little, wherever I think there needs to be a highlight, I'm just kind of going around and putting squiggly things in there. I think there might be too many lines on that A. Kind of makes it look a little funny. Now here's where I start to mess up. I'm shadowing it a little bit because I like the black line going across the, because uh, it just kind of makes it step out. And I'm, instead of going straight across with that black line, I'm kind of bending it a little bit and uh, it kind of just, Distorts the artwork, but um, I can go back in later on and go across it with black and just erase out before I clear it and uh, fix that. And I'm going to also show you something else that you can do on this, uh, which you know you don't have to do. It's just kind of cool, cool to do. Um, you can actually erase out starburst like on it and uh, then take your airbrush and shoot a little, little tiny bit of black or white in there and you, you come out with a star starburst um, now he, if you notice it's not so sharp on that that a because of the way I took the black across there and um, it doesn't stand out like the other demo did that I did. So I will have to go back in there and fix that. But you can make it as bright as you want it by erasing highlights. And making it stand out. trying to get that straight for you so if you notice down on the bottom I don't know why it went to a small shot but um, down to the bottom of the T I have 
erased out a round dot and then put some starburst looking um, lines on there. And here I'm just coming in and making these highlights a little bit more pronounced. And I'm putting one on the, the R there. But you could spray a little bit of white in there and make it fade out. And I'm putting one on top of the A. But if you look at it straight across, because that black is bending and not going straight, it, it takes away from the actual... Uh, chrome look. Thank you for watching. Come back.